We're looking at the Savage Auto Loader Rifle. This is the Model 62 slash 64. It's a 22 long. Um, the uh, manual right here, you get a little owner manual and you skim through the manual real quick. I went ahead and just skimmed through it real quick. Um, it only comes with a one year manufacturer warranty and it only covers certain amount of stuff. So if you do, you know, think about getting this gun, it only comes with a one year warranty. Um, also, when you buy the gun, file the warranty to get your one year warranty. Just file it and send it off to the address it gives you. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's your model 62 slash 64, 22 long. This is an auto loader. I found it at uh, Walmart. Been wanting to get a new 22. Go ahead and take it out of the bag here. Now it comes with one 10 round magazine. I picked it up for uh, 137. Let's go ahead and uh, pop that off. Here's your uh, 10 round mag. You know, your little release lever right here. You release, pull back, and then it slides in and out. And to get the mag in, see, you're going to want to either pull forward and to rock it. And you could do a real rocker action like that, and it'll pop back in. But it does come with one little 10 round mag, and I was thinking about getting the Marlin with the 15 round tube fed, but the reason why I wanted this one is because it has your little sling attachments already into the gun. It already has those on the polymer stock, and it has the one on the rear as well. But yeah, polymer stock, black, semi-automatic, and the safety is right here on the side. Red, you're dead. Back, it's on safe. We haven't fired the gun yet. We will be taking it out and shooting it. And it does have one small rail area where you could put a little rail mount on it if you want. Um, your simple sights. I think I measured the barrel from the action forward was about 22 inches. The whole gun in full length is probably about a foot in, or three feet and a half, three feet five inches. It does come with a trigger lock as well. One little trigger lock, two little keys, and it also comes with, uh, I don't know where they went, but it comes with uh, two little earplugs. And I found some uh, Federal, you know, some target grade performance ammunition, the 22 long. Now Walmart did get these in this morning. The best time to get ammunition from Walmart would be the morning time, especially if you're looking for 22 long. We will be firing this gun, so stay tuned for that. Lurs Rec Reviews. Alright, now we went ahead and brought it out here, and we're going to go ahead and shoot it off a few times. Um, we did breeze through the owner manual a few times. It does have one one year manufacturer warranty, you do have to file it. And inside it, it also came with this little uh, Savage Arms Knives brochure. Just a little brochure and it, uh, just some pictures of their knives. Just a brochure it came with it. And it also has these uh, target setups. Your best shot target, you could do this at 25 yards, it's showing you. And you could write your name and everything. So me and my girlfriend are going to go ahead and, you know, rip these pages off and see how accurate we can be. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I got some plinker, some plinker targets set up over there. A little spinny target. Go ahead and load the mag in here. Now it does lock into place when you rack it back. You could shove it forward right here and it'll lock into place. I went ahead and put a little bipod on here. It does have those little sling attachments where you can get like a little UTG bipod. So, you know, it's stable. And let's see how it functions.
Well, looks like we hit our little plinker targets right up out of the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and take some shots off at the little jugs we got set up over here. Well, looks like we're out. I like to rack it back and lock it into place after it runs out of rounds, put it back on safety, and then we can go ahead and uh, pop the little mag out. Now I do plan on getting a couple extra magazines. Walmart tends to carry them, but they just didn't have any right now. Lurs Rec Reviews, thanks for watching. We're going to go ahead and keep shooting this some more. What's up, y'all? Lurs Rec Reviews here. We're just going to be doing a little quick rec review on the... It's a Savage Model 64 22 long rifle. Um, it's just a little plinkster gun that I got and I picked up at Walmart. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, test the durability and the accuracy and see how hot the barrel gets and just overall how good it'll function with these... Uh, when it, we got some of these uh, federal target grades, we're going to go ahead and shoot off. I got 10 rounds loaded up. I'm just going to pop them off pretty much as fast as I can and see how accurate I could be. We're about 25 yards from the target, about 25, give or take. And I'm just going to pop it off as fast as I can. Went in and put this little fun pistol grip deal over here on the front. Helps with the accuracy and steadying. So it looks like uh, it functioned great, you know, the, all the rounds function through, they spit out just fine. It does lock into place back here, you just pull back and push forward. It locks into place and you could pull forward and back to rack it, back forward and you pull it back, push forward and it'll lock into place. The magazine's a little, like... You know, it's a little tough to get that out if you don't really have a good strong finger. The way that I put it in there, you know, I rock it forward, pop it back. You know, rock it forward and pop it back. But we're going to be doing a little review on this gun all day. Stay tuned. You'll see a lot of video clips of me and my girlfriend firing it and showing you a little bit of the accuracy and how it functions. Stay tuned. doing is doing the, your best shot 25 yards with the little targets that the savage little handbook comes with now this is your auto loader rifle 22 caliber long rifle I'm gonna go ahead and we got the target set up I walked it off I guess it's roughly about 25 yards give or take I'm gonna pop off the full mag in the target and we'll see how accurate I can get with the iron sights. Go ahead and rack one in. Safety off. Let's get steady. Not sure if that was 10. We found them all. Well, that's an empty mag. Wonder if that was 10 rounds. So I'm gonna just gonna go walk up and grab the target, and we'll go ahead and show you. Here's the target. Looks like we got a couple seven pointers, some eight pointers, nine, and look like it kind of nicked into the 10 and the nine a few times. One of them was off the black, but it was still within the circle. So that's a pretty good grouping for that gun. I can give you a better look. Little holes there in the wood. And then look at the back of the wood, just blowing it out. And here's the holes, give you a better look of it. 
There it is. That was with your Savage 22 long rifle, semi automatic. Um, okay. Get on, that was awesome. Shotgun shit. And, uh, all right, rack one in, safety off. I'm shooting at those little plinkers you can see down there. We're about 40 yards. Looks like we had a little failure to feed. That was just one little mistake. It's a brand new rifle. Looks like we hit the little tiny one. Yep, so that's your Savage 22 long rifle, semi-automatic. There was one failure to feed. I don't think that was the rifle issue. I think that might have just been the, the rounds that we were using. But it's a pretty good gun. Got his little bipod on here that we went ahead and put on there. Little rifle mounting system. I'm, I'm liking, you know, I'm liking it. I like to shoot 22 just because it's a cheap round and, you know, right now you can't find them, but when you can find them, you know, I would suggest picking those up. Alright, we pretty much uh, went through the whole box. That was a, um, a 325 round count. We went through the whole box and uh, we got about five rounds loaded up. That's what we have left. It looks like I only really had two issues with those uh, 
with that ammunition in this rifle so far. Now the um, the rounds, they're not all that cheap, but they're not that expensive as well. So they're not the greatest rounds you could be using for it, like it tells you to use. But um, it worked just fine. Um, having only two issues with it, being a brand new gun, I'm pretty satisfied with it. I really would have liked it not to have any issues. But really, it's probably just the rounds and not the gun issue. Because the rounds that it had issues with, one was just the failure to fire because the firing pin didn't hit, you know, directly on the back of the round. And then one time it was a failure to feed because of the round. You know how some 22 rounds are a little jiggly and loose, you know, they're not all put together that great. But here it is, your uh, Savage Model 64, 22 long caliber. The last five rounds, just dumped them out real quick. It's been functioning just fine all day. Um, I hope you liked the review. Post any comments below if you have any questions, or maybe you can think of something I might be able to do with this rifle. You know, um, Lairs Rec reviews again. Thanks for watching.